Hi guys, it's Lizzie from the Academy team and this is the Sony A7C Mark II. It's been three years since the release of the original A7C, a camera that certainly divided opinions. But in that time frame, we have seen so many huge advancements to Sony's technology, which actually makes me really excited to show you this camera. So let's get stuck in. We have a 33 megapixel full frame BSI Exmor R CMOS sensor with the Bion Z XR processor and AI processing unit. An ISO range of 100 to 51,200, which is expandable up to ISO 50 to 102,400 in stills. Five axis in body stabilization with up to seven steps for better performance in low light. Consistently accurate exposure and color reproduction for both your portrait and landscape scenes. And because of that AI processing unit, we see a lot of upgrades to the autofocus. Much like that on the A7R5, we've got enhanced recognition and tracking performance for things like human pose estimation, animals, birds, cars, trains, airplanes, and insects. We've got more phase detection AF points, which now cover 94% of the frame versus the original A7C's 693 points, covering 93% of the frame. High precision focusing in low light down to minus four EV, full-time DMF and focus bracketing up to 299 images with sequentially shifted focus points. Up to 10 frames per second continuous shooting with both AF AE tracking and an improved buffer memory so you can shoot over a thousand JPEGs, 44 RAWs or 35 RAW and JPEGs. When it comes to video, we've got 4K60 recording in super 35mm format, which is full pixel readout without binning. You've also got 4K30, which is oversampled from 7K. Again, that is full readout, no binning. And you can also shoot up to two and a half times slow motion in 4K too. So your creative possibilities are pretty much endless when it comes to video. And of course, let's not forget that there are a ton of full HD shooting options too such as full HD recording up to 120 frames per second, internal 10-bit 422 recording, S Cine Tone and S Log 3. We've also got in-camera time-lapse creation, auto framing, focus map, breathing compensation and more. Now it's not just the internals of the A7C Mark II which have seen some major upgrades. We've also got some changes to the body design from a usability point of view. We've got the addition of some extra dials, buttons, controls, and also that touchscreen feature where you can swipe up for your function menu, which is just super intuitive and simple to use. I think for me, the thing I love most about the Sony A7C Mark II really is its small form factor. If you're looking for a competent hybrid camera, so something that's gonna deliver high quality stills, high quality video, but still allows you to shoot full frame, then why would you not be looking at this camera? Even when you start to add Sony's lenses, you can get a nice, small, lightweight setup, which is gonna deliver for whatever your needs. If that's hiking up mountains, traipsing around the country, out in the city, shooting people, portraits, anything like that, this camera can do it all. If you'd like to find out any more information on the Sony A7C Mark II, then head on over to jessops.com now or pop into your nearest store where one of our experts will be more than happy to help. Don't forget to give this video a like, hit subscribe and smash that bell icon so you can stay up to date on all of our latest content. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.